I believe that Phantom's native token called FTM has huge potential. That's what she said. However, besides that point, I think FTM's potential is so huge to the point that I think it could hypothetically go to the price of at least $20 during the next bull run and make all of those Phantom haters come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's baby mama and start begging for that new PlayStation 5. And even though that's not financial advice, in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I think it could very well happen. You know, first of all, I think that Phantom is one of the best layer one blockchains out there. Phantom is highly decentralized, it's secure, and it's highly scalable too. However, it doesn't end there because Phantom is also EVM compatible as well which I think is very amazing. Currently, there has been over 200 decentralized applications deployed on Phantom already, and we're even seeing thousands of daily active users on its network per day. And here's the thing, when it comes to Phantom, I believe that it is a lot better than the competition. For instance, I think that Phantom is a lot better than the BNB Smart Chain. And now when I say that, some of the Binance fanboys out there, they may be pulling out their G-strings, pulling out their pom-poms, and they may be saying, Oh, what? There's no way Phantom is better than the BNB Smart Chain. But I completely disagree. And here's the reason why. You know, first of all, if we take a look at it, just last year, you know, over 20% of the crypto hacks that happened actually occurred on the BNB Smart Chain ecosystem. And I think that right there is completely unacceptable. I mean, what is that nonsense all about? How is the BNB smart chain that way? However, on the contrary, you don't see any of that type of nonsense going on with Phantom. I think the Phantom network is just way too secure. Personally, if I were to put an analogy on the BNB smart chain, I would call it the Britney Spears of blockchains. And why do I say that? Because I think that even though the BNB smart chain is massive, you know, even though it has a lot of fanboys, I think it has a fundamental compromise much like Britney Spears. Yeah, she's rich, but I think she has a fundamental compromise. And the reason why I think so is because when we take a look at Britney Spears, when she got divorced with Kevin Federline and they were fighting over the custody of their kids, you know, the judge at the end ruled that Kevin Federline was going to have custody of the kids instead of Britney Spears. And when I take a look at something like that, I just can't help but shake my head because think about this, right? Kevin Federline, he's a complete nut job. He's a complete clown show. So if someone is married to Kevin Federline and that person doesn't have custody over the kids after they get divorced, then you know for a fact that that person who is married to Kevin Federline has a fundamental compromise. And in this case, it's Britney Spears. I mean, Britney Spears had to be an utter and total disaster for the judge not even to award her custody over the kids. I mean, Kevin Federline is already a complete disaster. So the fact that he even got it in the first place, I think truly shows just how much more of a disaster Britney Spears is. And that is why, again, right, I think that the BNB smart chain is the Britney Spears of blockchains. Yeah, sure, it's massive. Yeah, sure, it has a lot of fanboys. But in my opinion, it has a fundamental compromise. I just think that in terms of pure fundamentals, I think that Phantom is a lot better than the BNB smart chain. However, besides that point, I think it's important to note that as of right now, Phantom has one of the best staking ratios out there. And that's actually not a joke. If we take a look at this, Phantom currently has a higher staking ratio than the Near Protocol and Polygon as well, which I think is very astounding. In terms of staking ratio, Phantom it's simply one of the best. However, very interestingly, the Phantom Network currently has been able to process over half a billion transactions, and it even has over 9 million accounts as well on its network, which I think is very mind-blowing. You know, over 9 million, that's more people than, I guess, Kim Kardashian, Miley Cyrus, Lindsay Lohan, and all of the other nutjobs have probably dated combined. Of course, I'm just joking, they probably didn't date that many people, but I'm assuming it's probably close, right? I guess we'll never know. And personally speaking, I think a major catalyst which could very well allow Phantom's native token called FTM to attain the price of at least $20 during the next bull run is the fact that I do think that the blockchain technology market has a lot of potential. As a matter of fact, the blockchain technology market by 2030 is anticipated to be worth over $1.4 trillion, which I think is insane. And I think that right there is going to be very bullish for the future of Phantom because 
I think that moving forward, as the blockchain technology market continues to grow, I think so will spectacular blockchains, much like Phantom. I think the future of Phantom could look so bright. However, in addition, I think another major catalyst which could very well allow FTM to attain the price of at least $20 during the next bull run is the fact that I do think that the next bull run could be so legendary. And here's my rationale. You know, currently we have over 420 million people around the world owning cryptocurrencies. And now when I say this, some people, they may think, oh, you know, that's not really that impressive. However, in reality, in my opinion, it's very impressive because when we take a look back in time, in 2021, you know, during that massive bull run that year, there was roughly only around 300 million people owning cryptos. And yet even still, despite that, the bull run that year was that massive. So when you fast forward to today, now we have over 420 million people owning cryptocurrencies. In my opinion, that's a very impressive number. And I think when you have that many people owning cryptocurrencies during the next bull run, I think the altcoin season could be so insane. I think the buying pressure, buying volume, and the FOMO could really be through the roof. So when I consider the incredible fundamentals of Phantom, when I take a look at its ecosystem, when I consider just how massive the blockchain technology market could be, and when I consider just how massive the next bull run could be, I really do believe that Phantom's native token called FTM could at least go to the price of $20 during the next bull run and prove a lot of those Phantom haters wrong and make them cry over to their girlfriends, boyfriends, baby mamas, grandmas, side piece, and start begging for that new PlayStation 5. You know, it's going to be really embarrassing. They're probably going to be starting to cry, to weep. You know, it's just going to be a complete disaster. But I guess that's what they get for being a phantom hater, I suppose. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it.